Nope. Welcome to Marksman TV. Hey guys, welcome back. Chris and Randy here with Marksman TV. Uh, this is kind of going to be one of the actual series that we talked about getting into, just where we show you guys a bunch of the type of stuff that are coming into the store. This pile of stuff you guys see is just stuff that has walked through the front door today, so we get a very big volume. Uh, as we go through this, I'll also show you we got a few things in from the website on WeBuyGuns.com. Actually, one of the person or one of the people that brought in a couple of these uh, was a WeBuyGuns.com customer who drove everything in, so it's kind of a mix. But uh, we'll just quickly go through what it is we have here. Starting with Randy, what are you holding? Uh, this is a nice Remington 7600, 30-06, uh, nice engraving, pump action, uh, very nice and iconic hunting rifle here in the U.S. This is a little X-Star. Uh, this is, let's see, I think it's EP9, but let me... Yep, X-Star EP9. This is a 9mm AR type pistol that is full polymer construction that does take Glock double stack magazines. It's a little bit interesting. These, these, <laughs> these are not that expensive. So I think you could pick these up new in about the 6 range or so. So anyway, those are interesting. We've had a couple of these in here before. I have a Palmetto PA15 and 5.56 um, rail top uh, Magpul furniture. And this actually is a left-hander, left-hand eject. Yeah, and that's the upper stag, I believe, which is known for making those left-handed AR-15s. SIG P365, you guys have seen a million of those. Somebody's calling us. The phone rings nonstop when we're in here. Here, here Randy on the phone. Thank you for calling Marksman Shooting Sports from WeBuyGuns.com. This is Randy, how can I help you? 6 p.m. today. Thank you. Bye. How later will we open today? Yes. Yeah. Masterpiece Arms Defender, 9mm. This came in today. Interesting, kind of a derivative off of the MAC 10 sort of concept. So, anyway, very interesting. This is a, yeah, Smith & Wesson 686, standard six round capacity with a two and a half inch barrel stainless double single action and again guys a lot of people from the last video had mentioned that they didn't want us they they like the more in-depth sort of reviews on the firearms we're not doing this to replace the weekly use gun review um the weekly use gun review we only have about eight firearms a week but as you can see this is just one day so we get so much stuff that you guys never see so on these videos it's just to quickly give you a big variety of the type of stuff that comes in uh, so if you see something that might catch your eye, uh, is it something you might want to go do more research about? Or you could ask us questions that we or other people in the comment section can answer for you. So one of my favorite 357s ever made the 686, as many of you guys may know if you've been watching the channel for a while. Here we have another Smith & Wesson. Uh, this is a Smith & Wesson Model 28-2 in 357 Magnum. Um, like six inch barrel. Yeah, looks like a uh, six inch barrel. Yeah, very Double single action, really nice target grips. It's a beautiful finish. I'll bring this in yep. for you guys to see. Check that out. So, I love the variety of stuff that we get in here. All right, next, let's see, a nice SIG red box. That's kind of like the remanufactured stuff when you see a cardboard red box like this. Could be like police surplus or something like that that's actually gone back to SIG and gotten sort of rebuilt or overhauled, maybe refinished. So, a, uh, very, very nice. This is just a standard P320. Many of you guys know them with a thinner trigger. So, you see these thin triggers on here. That's after the recall. Uh, since, you know, a few years ago, SIG had the drop safety issue with a lot of their firearms. So, we have here is a nice FN uh, Belgian Browning 9mm high power. Uh, in very good condition. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey do you want to, we're doing a video. Do you want to get in it? No, not really. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> this isn't a bug for TV. But you know so much about guns. questions, you know <laughs> Smith & Wesson SW 1911. This is their E-Series with the fish scales on it. Beautiful firearms that make them in blue and stainless as well as the bitone. They're not that expensive for what they are. They're, you know, uh, brand new around what, $1,200, $1,300. You usually typically find them 
a well under a thousand dollars in many cases so beautiful firearms for what they are and this one's in excellent condition so this one came to us from a we buy guns customer that actually brought it into the store so i'm sure he's watching thank you so much for bringing these in so here uh everyone knows i like the rim fires this is a remington mark ii target a uh, very nice rim fire i will not dry fire the rim fire pistol but um, arguably the Mark II's had the best triggers of any of the Mark series um, that they've ever put out. Okay, the one thing I wanted to throw in about this P226 is it is a West German one. So this is one of the older original P226's, which has its original West German box, which is just super cool. You don't see that very often. They're maybe a little bit more expensive than just like the standard Nitron that you get today on the used market. Um, but still really cool when you see sort of the older 80s, 90s era SIG P226s come in. Here we have another 1911. This is the Dan Wesson Specialist in 45 ACP. Um, lots of nice serration cuts, uh, G10 grips, beautiful stainless finish on this. Also has the accessory rail. Very nice handgun. Okay, this one is just a standard MMP 9mm with the Crimson Trace laser on it. So, very, very cool. Don't want to put my hand in front of the muzzle, but you see the green light there. Very nice. These MMP 2.0s have been very popular for a lot of people, but it's also sometimes kind of nice as a range novelty to get those Crimson Trace lasers on there. Up next is another Smith & Wesson. This is also 22 rim fire. It's the Smith & Wesson SW22 Victory uh, target pistol, stainless steel, target crown barrel, uh, fiber optic sight, front and rear. Very nice target pistols. Now, speaking of target pistols, this is from the Mark IV series, the Hunter. This one also came to us from a a um, We Buy Guns customer who brought this in locally. But the Hunter, I'm not too sure that they are uh, producing these in this line currently or anymore. So a little bit of an oddball, very nice fluted, heavy profile barrel with fiber optic sights, adjustable rear, these beautiful, uh, really nice target grips on here too. So these are very, very cool and interesting when you see them come in. Next up is a Beretta. Inox. Inox. Very beautiful handguns. Uh, stainless steel uh, with the black accents. Very popular 92FS 9mm. So the early ones had all stainless controls and they call and with the grayish grips and they call that like the gray ghost or somewhat for the early production Inox 92s. But that is not what this is. But these are still very attractive looking handguns. CZ that most people are very familiar with. This is the CZ75D with the T cocker. Um, very, very nice compact size. If you guys have never taken a look at these, I've had these on my channel before, but the slide fits down inside the frame, giving it a really low bore axis, really good recoil control, and very low muzzle flip. So excellent handguns, double single action if you ever get to take a look at one. And up yet another Smith & Wesson. This is the first gen shield M&P 9mm. Very, very popular gun. It's a gun that we see, uh, you've seen in Chris's videos, it's a very common gun that comes in as a trade gun. Uh, it's at a nice price point and they never last more than a day or so. And last but not least for stuff that's come through the front door so far today, what time is it, about three? It's about a quarter after four. Okay, so we might still get more, but this is a, uh, a Beretta M9A1 on the compact frame uh, with the A1 has the accessory rail up here. The standard model does not. And then, of course, we have the A3, which is where they are now with the uh, FDE, or they make them in black now, too. Uh, but anyway, this is a double single action, double stack magazine. The compacts, I believe this is 12. If I'm not, uh, I think these are actually 10. Yeah, they're Mark 10, so they're 10 round mags. The standard full size is 15, and then on the A3s, they're up to 17 rounds now. They probably have a 19 round for it, uh, 19 round mag. So very, very nice handguns. Always great to get these, and there's always a lot of buyers on these sort of more classic style Beretta pistols. 
Okay, now for the section of what's in the box. This is what we got in today from webuyguns.com. Um, I've got my scissors that I know a lot of you were very impressed with in the last one. But I'll just go through these real quick, show you guys what we have. And some people like the idea of going over the condition, like how did the customer rate it and how would we rate it. Um, so, you know, when it comes to condition, everybody's a little bit different obviously but for the most part everybody's usually pretty spot on if i have like a slightly different opinion on something i'm not going to make a big deal out of it like reduce the offer or anything only if things are like really not as advertised plus everybody's putting up pictures so i can see for the most part what they look like anyway so this is cool i remember this one i'm gonna try and get all the information from the seller not in the videos xl arms accelerator pistol and this one is in yet five seven let's see there we go very very interesting firearm and on the website you guys send us a lot of interesting things i'll probably do some research on this one because i do not know much about it and probably showcase that one in the next weekly use gun review so again hopefully i'm close enough very interesting that is a five seven so we will Get that one booked in. Oh, let's look at condition. I would call this either very good or excellent. Um, excellent on the high end, very good. So if he said either, which I mean, you can only go up from here. He said excellent. So yeah, I would call this. I mean, excellence fair on that. So very, very cool. Uh, we will move on now to the next one. All right, up next, this one's coming to us from Florida. Let's see what we got. Okay, looks like we got everybody's favorite Glock. So let's see what came in. This is a Glock 44 and we're good. Very nice. Let's see here. So this has a back straps. I believe this one had a threaded barrel. Matt more back straps, and I believe this is the barrel. Remember this, we were chatting about this one in an email. And he said he had a, yeah. So that's the aftermarket threaded barrel. Is it aftermarket? I don't think it is actually. I think this is, well, let's take a look. Uh, it is, it is a Glock factory threaded barrel, which is really cool with the original barrel in there. So little 44 pistols, um, they did not take off too well in the market. There were some early issues with the frames cracking and things like that. A very, very lightweight, all polymer frame and slide. So not super, you know, super coveted on the market, but they have all the ergonomics and aesthetics as a Glock 19. It's about that size. So if you have a Glock 19, it makes a good training implement for that purpose. But notify him, I would call this excellent condition. He says very good, so I actually think he kind of underplayed it a little bit, but either way, I take a look at the pictures, but yeah, I mean, maybe there's a couple little handling marks on it, so yeah, maybe very good, but very good to excellent, so. All right, moving on. Okay, first I'm gonna read the condition first. So this one is stated to be excellent. I have everything we need there, so. Okay guys, we have an excellent condition. It looks like an XD M45 compact. There we go. Yeah, excellent on this is fair. There's just a couple wear marks right up here on top of the barrel, but again, that's very typical. Even some new firearms we get, people handle them a couple times in the store. You start to get wear up on the top of the barrel hood or the chamber, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is being experienced here. But other than that, there is really no indication, indication of heavy usage. Uh, make sure everything so we will I'm good on that one so I will let him know that that is there but that is the XDM 45 compact very cool handgun thank you if you're watching for selling this one to us and let's move on to our last box here so it looks like this one's coming from South Carolina cut downward there we go 
paperwork out of here. Let's see what's in the box. Got a CZ, everybody likes CZ. It's like super professionally packaged too. Isn't it awesome for a job? I get to open guns all day, it's kind of like Christmas. All right, this is, it looks like a Rami, right? No, sorry, P01, 75 P01 with the decocker. And I don't remember which one he said was excellent or very good, but I would call this excellent for sure. There you go. If you guys, again, don't know much about these, these are excellent, excellent firearms. And we'll go through, you know, we always go through just an overall safety check. We'll tear them down, take a look at the internals, make sure it looks like everything's there, everything's functioning the way it is. But we do not test fire them because I don't have a range. So I can't go to a range and rent range time and, you know, test fire 20 or 30 guns every day. It's just not in the budget, not in the time. But we give them a look over, you know, most modern firearms, like the condition they're in is they're very, very, very gently used. So in you know, worst case, if it has to go back to the factory and they charge for shipping or something, I don't know, maybe a part. PO7. P07 9 millimeter double single action with the decocker. So these are really good polymer frame handguns. Um, again, I'd probably say this is very good. So this is probably the one he said was very good. Some grip tape on there, a little bit of, you could just see as this has been used a little bit more than just normal handling. There's quite a bit of wear on the top of the barrel, but again, overall, yeah, it's a very good. P07 polymer frame from CZ. Really, really like these things. They just feel good in the hand. They point really well. So really like that. That is basically, Randy, is that all the guns we got? I think so. Yeah, I don't think we got any more. So that's basically everything we got. Um, so again, for those of you who didn't catch last video, this is a new video concept where I'm only just giving a brief summary, a little bit of information of a lot of the type of used firearms we get in since I get so many that you guys are not really seeing on all of the you know weekly used gun reviews, which is only eight a week. Typically in a week, we might get around 100. So there's a lot you guys aren't seeing. So I, I don't know if I can keep up with this on a daily basis, but if I can do at least two, maybe three of these a week supplemented with the weekly used gun review video. And, and again, I'm not making this as a sales tool. I know we sell guns online, we sell guns in our store, but this is just, you know, I figured it would be interesting sort of vlogging content where you guys can see the wide variety of stuff out there on the market and maybe see a lot of things you didn't know existed. So uh, that's really the point of this. Also, with that being said, I know that uh, you know a lot of you guys watch the website and stuff. It does take me, uh, you know, a lot of time to get things onto the website, and maybe not everything is on the website. We might, you know, have things here in our store. So again, uh, you know, be patient with that. Again, this isn't like a here's all the stuff, go buy it. It's not that what these videos are for. They're just for sort of fun and entertainment. But we try and get them out to the marketplace as quickly as we can. But with just two of us working here and the volume of guns we get, it does take us some time to get through the backlog of inventory to get it out there and sell. We try and put it in the places where, where it'll sell the fastest so it doesn't back up on us. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you off with that video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports and WeBuyGuns.com in Westfield, Indiana. You are watching Marksman TV, and I will see you next time.